everyone, I'm Bianca and I'm here at Woods. The energy here is very uplifting and inspiring. You really want to spring into action. Everyone knows that there's going to be such a diversity of thought. You expect that you're going to learn something from the people who are here. This is a conference where we promote and we, we, we look at and we admire outstanding women doing outstanding work in the broad area of data science. I think the next era that's coming upon us now is what I call digital biology. So today I'm going to talk about a little bit of research that I do at Google, interpretability for everyone. So today I'll talk more about what it takes to teach AI systems the language of the humans and as well as the language of the enterprise. It's an absolute privilege to be here for the fifth year because it's really blown out of proportion and I was here for the first year, it was a really small conference and now it's all over the world. And we need like a thousand such initiatives to write the balance for women in technology. This year is really special because I'm here with my daughter. I'm a high school student and like I'm really interested in STEM kind of topics. Um, but like working with my mom on this and like attending this has been really cool. This past year, I got to be part of the WIDS high school outreach team which has been a lot of fun. Just the ideas about how to help students feel like they belong, especially underrepresented minorities and women feel like they have a place. Giving them more ideas about what it means to be in data science or and then ideas for me on how I can connect it to things I know my students are already passionate about. So the fairness mission that we have is really try to enable that, ensure that two people with equal talent should have an equal shot at opportunities. We're so excited this year to report back the numbers. We have the largest participation to date with 951 teams uh, from 85 different countries around the world. And we're actually uh, really excited to announce a phase two of the Datathon for the first time ever, where participants will be able to share more about their work in a one-page paper. People are just so eager to learn. People are excited to see what's out there. You know, people think of data scientists as tackling a real world problem and looking at, okay, what are the issues in society and how can we examine the data that's collected from different sources about people or the things. And people are excited to see how they can change the world. AI, machine learning, data science, they all have this amazing, incredible potential for impact. But imagine the potential if we added more diversity, if we added more, um, got more voices involved, and we could build you know, things that are amazing. It's particularly interesting because Talithia asked people in the audience, like, who owns a Fitbit? And that's an example of how data science really doesn't have very many barriers to entry. It's just the resources are out there already for you to use, and you can find the power in your own data to inform your own life decisions and change your lifestyle for the better. And this is the part of the day where we focus on you and the difference that you can make in your choices about your career and how you direct your talents to make the world a better place. I hope that the story shared today, not just about Coursera, but throughout the women in data science movement, can remind us all of the impact we can have through data science. This conference has impacted my outlook on possible career choices. As a senior, I've been thinking a lot about what my career next steps should be or could be. I'm realizing even more at this conference that I can really just follow my interests and forge a path that doesn't even exist yet just because I'm interested in it, but also can make an impact in the world.